Okay, so I'm Tyler O'Brien. I'm going to give you a little review on the quadratic formula today. It's really used in like grades nine and above, like you learn in algebra one or algebra two, but you're going to use it throughout like pre-calculus and stuff. It might be like a little step, but it's still going to be used, so it's a good thing to kind of know. Today we're just going to identify what a quadratic equation is, how do you apply the formula to it. Quadratic equations are usually written in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c, and the a's, b's, and c's are all going to be numbers. Um, the x squared is what makes it quadratic, it gives it like the big U shape, which is called parabola. And uh, like I said, it's used in Algebra 1 and beyond, like you're still going to use it no matter what. Here's a parabola, and these are what we're looking for, is right here. And the quadratic formula is going to be used to give us those x-intercepts of the parabola. So here's the formula. It's negative b plus or minus b, the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. And that's all over 2a. And these values are going to come from what numbers are here. So on this, our a is going to be, it just matches up, it's going to be 3. Our B is going to be negative 10, and our C is positive 5. And then using that, you just plug in all the values into the formula up there. So you'd have negative 10, but it's the opposite. So you have positive 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 squared minus 4 times 3 times 5, all over 2 times 3. And when you just do your math, you're going to get 10 plus or minus 100 minus 60, which is 40. So square root of 40, all over 2 times 3, which is 6. Now I just need one person. Oh, you were mad, so I should do this. It's real simple. values that he just told us, we're going to plug them into the formula. We'll have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times negative 4 times 5 all over 2 times 5. And when you do your math, you're going to get that. And again, that's going to give you those x-intercepts on the parabola. I'm going to have one more quiz. What is the purpose of the quadratic formula? To find the vertex the maximum, the minimum, the y-intercept, or the x-intercepts? The yes, D. 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 Good job. The coefficients of the quadratic equation give you what information? The solutions, the y-intercepts, the a, b, and c, or the vertex? B, B. Yep. Then what is the b value of this? Job. The A value. Job. And the C value. Good job. And that's all I have.